हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ आई क्यू सिविल्स आई एस अकेडमी माई सेल्फ नरेंद्र शर्मा यस एंड दीज आर द अदर पैनलिस्ट दीज आर द टीम मेंबर्स हु आर ऑलवेज रेडी फॉर दर सर्विसेस एंड एज अ पार्ट ऑफ आई क्यू सिविल्स आई एस अकेडमी आई कैन टेल यू देर आर few government projects which you can see on the screen as well as you can go through the google reviews on the basis of these reviews you can choose this institute as a better platform for your civil services preparation well today's topic is about the derecho storm system isn't it derecho storm system as you can see here we are talking about the uh, derecho storm system so derecho this term is uh, why this is in news isn't it or why uh, recently uh, just uh, what we can say when this storm arrives why it was in news so it was in news because uh, it was a storm when it came to american regions isn't it eastern and north eastern regions of america when this storm approaches the sterico the entire sky isn't it the entire sky becomes green mind it and that's why this derecho is in news the entire sky becomes green entire sky of us isn't it mainly a uh, few states through which this storm has crossed and those states like nebraska mind it nebraska illinois and minnesota so when the storm crosses through these states of usa the entire sky becomes green i'll show you how it was looking like see the sky becomes green isn't it uh just because of this phenomena this derecho was in news now let's discuss about derecho's in detail so here we are talking about the derecho as far as national weather services of united states isn't it national weather service of united states derecho is a widespread long lived straight line wind storm it means it is a wind storm isn't it it is a kind of storm but the difference is it is widespread it is long lived it is straight line so derecho is related to band of fast moving showers or thunder storms so here again by going through this point it is very clear that derecho is a type of thunder storm isn't it so they are the band of fast moving showers they are the band of fast moving showers or thunder storm its name has been derived from spanish word de bereca de de reca de reca means straight isn't it in english uh, the spanish word de reca is meaning is straight in english isn't it so straight line storms can be defined as the thunder storm straight line storms can be defined as thunder storm and such winds having no rotation unlike unlike hurricanes and tornadoes and tornadoes which are reaching to the us such derecho is i mean winds of winds in the derecho is not rotating this is the difference uh, let's understand in detail this is about the statement so obviously just by going through such statements you cannot understand the entire phenomena 
as as it is a part of current affairs of geography which is related with the climate you can see first of all uh, i mean you have to understand how this phenomena this system is forming isn't it so uh, again i am telling you uh, about derico the word has been originated from spanish word la derica la derica it means a uh, straight in english it means straight in english so it is about straight line thunderstorms i hope many of you have an idea about the thunderstorm if not then i'll explain what is that so first of all you should know that la de reca means straight line straight line thunderstorm as you can see in the figure see these are the straight line thunderstorms isn't it here you can see straight line thunderstorm i mean this is a thunderstorm this is again a thunderstorm this is they are the straight line thunderstorms how exactly they will form i'll tell you so if you're talking about derico obviously it is a storm system or a thunderstorm isn't it which reached reached these states states like minnesota illinois isn't it nebraska i have told you and the speed was speed was 140 km per hour isn't it and when such winds or such system derico storm system reached the america in those states which i have told you the winds which reached with this system they knocked down the power lines as well as trees the storm turned the skies into green which was never witnessed which was never witnessed the storm was witnessed derico was witnessed but the storm turned the skies into green that was never witnessed and because of this a uh, new color the derico storm system is in your current affair isn't it well let's understand how it is forming see you know about thunderstorms i hope you know about the thunderstorms thunderstorm is basically producing because of intense low pressure mind it because of intense low pressure so if low pressure is developing that low pressure leads to rise of warm winds upward okay warm and wet winds upward and as where it has gone yes and when the dry air comes in contact of such wet winds these are what just try to understand the phenomena of formation of derico because of convectivity convectivity is the phenomena in which warm winds warm and wet warm moisture laden winds rises upward upward or in upper atmosphere okay through convectivity so derico is associated it is also associated with meso level convectivity mind it meso level convectivity not high level and not very low level meso level convectivity and when dry air comes in contact of such warm wind see this is a situation this is a peculiar situation why it is a news because this is a unique phenomena which we have seen and this is not commonly seen in entire region of the world and that's why we we should understand what is the unique phenomena which is associated with derico these are the dry winds dry winds met 
moisture laden wet winds which are rising higher these are wet winds so dry winds as they are dry winds they are absorbing the moisture from the warm wind and initiate the process of evaporation so evaporation is there evaporation occurs when dry wind met with wet wind and here in the figure also you can see it is talking about evaporating cool air it means the cold air now because when dry winds comes in contact of wet wind isn't it it uh, i mean moisture has been evaporated so now the air has been cooled here isn't it so air has been cooled and cooled air as you know if you understand the formation of clouds you also know the cooled air condenses and after condensation they form what clouds so such cooled air isn't it when they becomes heavier because cooled air when cooled air or cold air are denser and they becomes heavier and such cold air also makes the surrounding air colder so entire region which is now colder and denser so because of their weight they falls downward see here they falls downward just like you can see in the diagram it is known as downburst it is known as downburst so what is downburst it is a process in which the cold and denser winds cold and denser wind fall suddenly with very high velocity fall suddenly with very high velocity that's why it is written here these winds reach up to 100 meter per hour isn't it so with such a high velocity these downburst wind now when uh, when they what you can say when they uh, downburst on the surface they falls on the surface they start doing what they start flowing like this outward isn't it because due to falling of wind at this place suppose high pressure is creating isn't it high pressure because of fall of the wind when wind falls on the surface it creates high pressure and from high pressure wind diverges outward in a anti cyclonic movement so wind diverges so these winds are diverging so they are pushing outward and mind it they are not they are pushing outward but they are also pushing outward the band of clouds see i am making the band of clouds they are also pushing outward such band of clouds in this way and this is your i mean such bands are known as derecho such kind of clouds now they are pushed by these uh, down falling winds but they are not exactly uh, coming to the surface in the lower part of the atmosphere they falls and creating high pressure and after creating high pressure they are fall they are moving outward or outflowing and they are sideways i mean simultaneously they are also pushing the bands of clouds outward you can see outward and such band of clouds are known as derecho so see here in the diagram that has been uh, given this is basically the third number is band of thunderstorm called bow echoes so they are also known as bow echoes they are band of thunderstorms isn't it thunderstorm means thunderstorm clouds which are known as bow echoes 
so in upsc prelims they can ask what is bow echoes what is down uh br- what, what is down burst isn't it so they are associated with derecho so you can have you should have knowledge about these terms also like bow echoes as it has written in the diagram also here okay so bow echoes are nothing they are the bands of thunderstorm and i will show you such kind of bands of thunderstorm see these are the band of thunderstorm which are pushed by outflow winds isn't it or downburst downburst winds which are outflowing isn't it so in this way uh, and now what is happening what is the peculiar phenomena which is associated what are the other peculiar uh, aspects which are associated with derecho like suppose consistently if down falling occurs consistently with very high velocity isn't it it drags the dry air which comes in contact of it it also drags the dry air to falls on the surface so as the dry air also falls on the surface other atmospheric uh, surrounding air is also fall uh, also falling on the surface by the process of downburst what is happening uh they are going to create in another diagram i will show you what will happen suppose downburst occurs in this region isn't it and now the winds diverges outward so this is basically band of cold wind isn't it if you have gone through front you can understand all these aspects front is also having similar phenomena i mean the same phenomena is occurring also here like these are the part of cold wind so when cold wind comes on the surface by the downburst the warm wind rises or uplift above rapidly rapidly forcefully who is pushing them upward forcefully these cold wind these cold wind which are down uh, bursting they are pushing the warm winds forcefully and when warm moisture laden winds comes on the upper part of the atmosphere again because of condensation they will form the clouds isn't it heavy clouds like cumulonimbus cumulus and after rainfall again the cold air i mean after uh, when rain when rainfall uh completes or finishes itself then what will happen the cold air falls downward as a downburst so see the continuous chain chain of downbursting and uplifting the downbursting winds cold winds are pushing the warm winds to rise higher and here the warm winds are rising higher and after rising higher obviously they are going to form the clouds and after rainfall the cold air falls again by the name of downbursting so this is a chain reaction and that's why it is a long lived it is this derecho is long lived isn't it because initially in uh, in the starting of the session we have discussed about the derecho where we have seen that it is a widespread long lived straight line isn't it so let's see what are these what are those aspects see here in the diagram also you can see in this diagram rain cooled cooled air is coming downward and then they start flowing parallel with very high velocity which pushes the warm wind higher and these warm winds which are reaching higher forming clouds and after rainfall again they comes downward as a downbursting isn't it and this is a front this is a gust front this is a front or this is also known as gust front this front is basically forming along the edges of or at the front of cold winds these blue winds are cold winds na which are down bursting and red winds are here updraft updraft means this updraft means the warm winds are pushed by the blue color cold winds and when it is pushed in the upper atmosphere they form clouds and after rainfall again 
the winds becomes colder heavier denser and they fall on the surface or falls in the lower atmosphere not on exactly on the surface but falls in the lower atmosphere as a downbursting okay now see the thing is like obviously this is a peculiar phenomena but this peculiar phenomena happens when when mind it when straight line winds fast moving straight line winds are also blowing at the same time or in this in the same situation isn't it so here you can see these are the bands of fast moving winds horizontal moving winds fast moving winds are pushing the cold winds with great intensity and that's why these warm winds are also rising with great intensity so in order to make it intensify in order to make it widespread in order to make it long lived there must be blow of such straight line winds and if these situation is constructing over there then derecho will form otherwise derecho will not form and what is derecho it is again i am telling you only they are the bow echoes bow echoes means band of thunderstorms thunderstorms or squalls they are also known as squalls mind it what are squalls squalls are the those uh, i mean heavy moisture laden clouds with thunder and lightning and they are also moving with very high velocity they are also moving with very high velocity that is known as they they are known as squalls so bow echoes are basically squalls of thunderstorms squalls of thunderstorm and you have now you got the point idea why they are uh, behaving like that isn't it so uh, this is all about the mechanism of derecho and one more thing i am telling you here you can see one more aspect that is related to derecho this is a jet stream if jet stream is if jet stream is also blowing isn't it at the same time then what will happen you can see these clouds which are forming in the upper atmosphere they will widespread they become widespread because of the jet streams which are pushing them in a straight line with very high velocity so now such clouds are not able to concentrate it more at this place but they will spread like this because of jet stream pushing of jet stream so jet stream pushes the clouds and that's why the thunder storm is widely spreading widely spreading isn't it that is known as derecho so uh you can see the formation in the upper atmosphere as well as lower atmosphere you can see the series of derecho it is in the upper atmosphere also as well as in the lower atmosphere okay so it looks very unique very unique when you see in see the atmosphere suppose when derecho comes in the us and if you are um, uh, if you if if you are standing over there then you can understand how beautiful this phenomena is occurring how beautiful this phenomena is over there when the bands of clouds are also spreading in upper atmosphere as well as in lower atmosphere isn't it so this is all about derecho well uh some other aspects which are associated with derecho hmm. this is a warm weather phenomena obviously it is a warm weather phenomena you know it generally occurs during summer time so 70% of derecho occurs in from may to july uh may to may sorry mostly in june or july and it goes to august also so what you can say majority of the uh, derecho is forming between may to august okay it is a rare fun phenomena as opposed to other storm system like tornadoes or hurricanes why it is different from tornadoes and hurricanes 
because in tornado and hurricanes winds are rotating spirally isn't it in this way but here the winds are i mean uh, clouds or the winds are spreading horizontally in a straight line isn't it but why it is straight line only the difference is if this is tornado and if jet stream jet streams are pushing the tornadoes in this way then obviously thunderstorms can move in a straight line and and if down drafts down uh, sorry if down burst also occur strongly then this down burst will also push the clouds in this way forming by forming bands or the bow echoes so in this way it is different from the tornadoes and tornadoes or hurricanes got it now see which storm is classified as derecho i mean how we can say it is a derecho if it is having a wind gust of at least 93 km per hour in such case in some cases damage area wind reaches to over 400 km this is the wide spread this is the basically the region through which it has spreaded isn't it the derecho has spreaded and gap between two successive wind damage event should not be greater than 3 hours isn't it and one more thing generally it occurs uh i mean generally it occurs after the gap of one year derecho one or two year isn't it skies are turned green when light interacts with huge amount of water held by them mind it uh when we are talking about this obviously this was the basically the news isn't it why it was a news because skies turned green why skies turned green because see uh, in thunderstorm there are larger balls of snow or hails isn't it and these larger balls of hail which are known as hail storms as you have studied in climatology such hail storms are reflecting all the lights because they are bigger na they are bigger in size so they are reflecting all the lights and only they are only because blue light is short wave length and short wave length can enter through such storms or clouds so blue sky should appear blue but it is appearing green why is it so because this blue color when it is mixed with the color of sun with the color of sun in the evening not in the i guess evening afternoon evening or afternoon so red orange what you can say red orange color of the sun light when it is mixed with blue it is forming a green color and that's why the sky turns green okay so this is the reason why it turns green and uh, what we can see a uh, other few other aspects of so here so this is all about uh, formation of derecho now comes to the types of derechos so derechos are classified into three categories progressive derecho it is summer phenomena and it is related with what happened mm, yes now we are discussing the types of derechos isn't it so progressive derechos it is a summer phenomena which is related to short line thunderstorms short line thunderstorms that travel for hundreds of miles across a relatively narrow path so this is progressive derecho serial derecho it commonly occurs during spring or fall it has wide and long squall line which sweeps over larger area 
wide and long square line means uh, such square lines will be wider and longer isn't it like this hybrid derecho it has the features of progressive as well as serial derechos isn't it progressive as well as serial derechos you can see here a serial derecho this is basically a diagram of serial derecho where uh, jet streams are also supporting the flow of thunderstorm and here downburst and low level atmospheric winds are also supporting the formation of what bow echoes isn't it so if both occurs at the same time like jet streams and bow echoes it will be serial derecho hybrid derecho it is the feature of it is the combination of progressive as well as serial derechos what it area of dominance where so derecho mostly commonly occur in central and eastern part of usa isn't it but derechos has also been reported in other countries mind it like russia germany finland bulgaria and poland of european country also but yes they have not been discovered in any other region which have been written here so derechos are confined to these regions only only and only these regions well let me sum up and you can see this figure also like this is a, a warm wind which is pushing upper upper upward and this is the this blue color side is of uh, showing the cold wind which is down bursting here isn't it and finally this is traveling in other areas horizontally in a straight line because of jet streams which is pushing the thunderstorm and here also flow will be from another this yellow color you can see a yellow color straight winds which is pushing the thunderstorms and forming bow echoes in the lower atmosphere also isn't it so these are the some of the aspects which are related with the derecho you need to understand the term you need to cover up the terms isn't it for your prelims and as far as it is not important for me because it is a kind of unique phenomena of thunderstorm so it is not going to be asked in your mains exam but yes it is very important for prelims exam isn't it mind it because mains exam will ask you the type of question or the kind of question which is covering the entire concept of thunderstorm and this is only different how it is different this is a widespread this is long lived this is straight line and why uh, such characteristics they are holding i have told you and one more thing these winds having no rotation isn't it so in this way such uh, storms are different from thunderstorm and hurricanes isn't it other hurricanes and cyclones other cyclones so uh, what we have discussed let me sum up we have discussed what is derecho exactly derecho so see according to national oceanic atmosphere one more definition i can give you now you can understand the definition because you have gone through the entire concept national ocean national oceanic national oceanic and atmospheric administration national oceanic and administrative atmospheric administration okay i am writing you national oceanic should take another pen so it is yes national oceanic administrative for a atmospheric administration okay n o a a so uh, according to n o a a derecho is widespread again i am telling you long lived
straight line you can mug up here widespread long lived straight line wind storm that is associated with that is i'm writing here associated with a band of rapidly moving shower or thunderstorm isn't it so there are straight line storms there are straight line storms in which thunder storms winds have no rotation okay unlike a tornado so this is all about uh, derico i hope you got the each and every aspect which are related with derico how it is different from other cyclones so again i am telling you for inquiries regarding admission and all you can contact through these numbers isn't it these are the panel of elite faculties uh, which you will uh, with, uh, which uh, i mean they are going to teach you uh, in this institute okay so this is all about derico thank you and all the best